community top creeps. Week 280 begins with the Darlav Triple. Some dude brings his own game winning triple. Grief immunity goes KO Ken times 10. Can his body take it? Anil slays a $30 dragon. I, uh... I bought the ray gun bundle. Look, it's the first thing I've bought in a Call of Duty store since the Black Ops 4 season pass. It's been like seven years. I can buy something. Apollo cuts up Mr. OG worse than a botched implant. But hey, now his tits are bigger, so not all bad. Dashboard Danks gets a grief bigger than a Stalker 2 update. 150 gigabyte preload. Then a 140 gigabyte update negating any reason to preload in the first place. That's fucking garbage from the developers. Don't at me, fanboys. Kino flattens puns on a turret in the focaccia. QP Haiti dances a duplicitous duet of death. Sea Blue got that blade moving like a turbine in a hurricane. Faded takes the booty attic to the end of the line on this railing. Don't cry, it's grief chops up a penguin to see how it tastes. Choreo and Oreo continue a rivalry. <laughs> Jitso Ray's griefs, ya yeah boy! Darlav charges back like a credit card snatched. Intense grief knocks the sky into a Black Ops 6 operator. An entire generation of COD players now only know Brutus as a Black Ops 6 skin. Cancer throws the meat like it's a la fuck you 3. A roadkill says, you be the sheep, I'll be the goat. Porus puts Jesse under the car like a goddamn mechanic. Fixing the axle and shit. The sandworm gets a ray spray. Grief immunity with the consummate combo. Don't cry, it's grief fights off a man in a black suit. 
He may have information on aliens. We don't know the context. Apollo shoots for the stars and ends up over the moon. Kino hits a knockout punch. QP Haiti puts these guys in the corner like a closet, and we won't be taking that joke any further. Sea Blue got more of morphing into a mere mortal. Don't cry, it's grief kicks this guy's head further than McPherson ever could. Jitso Blade, Julienne cuts Ragdoll into a vegetable. Dar Lab outplays the double team. Dashboard Danks does not make long work of Sniper Shock. I don't even know the guy, it's just turned into one of those random things we do. And Grief Immunity brings a close to 280. Little curveball on the ending line. I can say other things. I'm enjoying the new zombies, but the question remains, where in the fuck is co-op pause? A standard feature since Black Ops 4 seven years ago. It was even in their last game, Cold War, which was made by the same team. You got solo players complaining about the 15 minute timer. Well shit, everybody else would be ecstatic if they got that 15 minute timer. At least it's something. And you can't even hold the zombies for somebody because they would just get kicked for inactivity. Can we enter into the distant future of 2017 and have this clearly advanced feature known as pausing a video game? How in the hell does Duck Hunt manage to have features that a $300 million game doesn't? I bought your Black Cell Inception Season Pass. How much more money is needed to fund the small project known as Call of Duty?